It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Buffalo Bills and the Chicago Bears. Yo, Charles, man, what up, what up, what up? Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, now to do the honors, and off we go here at Soldier Field. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. Singletary to get the drive started. And he stops right at the 25 after a gain of five. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Right back to Singletary on second down. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right now scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Allen from the gun on third down. He's got a man complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. right back to Crowder. Touchdown, Bills! Jamison Crowder, 30 yards! And the Bills are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. from way up at the 23. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at the 34. Play action. It's Fields. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown in the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal 
or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Nah, Charles, man, we lost. How about, uh, let me see. Nah, we lost by one point. Our defense is horrible, man. It's, it's bad. Our defense is so bad. Yeah, we lost, man. Yo, Sola, what up, man? Nah, nah, they lost. They said, man, defense is horrible. Back to throw, Fields. And he fires one, but incomplete. I don't see more than trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. The fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and that'll do it for the first quarter of play. After one, seven, three, the score like, um, on EA Sports. The, I think it was like 24-10. They had a drive going, and we had like, on third downs, we had penalties. One was a uh, hands to the face penalty, and then another one was a holding penalty. The hands to the face one, we had picked it off, and then we got 15 yards. The next player scored a running touchdown, and then next possession, Fields threw a pick, uh, pick six, tie game. And then Fields came with that long run, and then we had, all we had to do was stop him on defense, and then drive up field and score. Oh yeah, after the Fields run, we missed the extra point. That's why it's, that's why we lost by one. We missed the extra point. So. But well, the defense could have stopped them. That's my main issue. It's like, our oh, defense is horrible. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is going to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in the playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage, but also keeping the defense for anticipating what's up next. 
and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Here's Allen. Throwing the out route, and Crowder makes the catch. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing his Allen on third. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 45-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Just nowhere to go with the football. He was forced to put that one into Lake Michigan. I think his receivers have to do a better job of working free because he didn't have anywhere to go at all on that play. Throwing now is Allen. Uncorks one for Davis. And that will be incomplete. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Hey, so like, it's, yeah, the only change because of what I, what I decided to do because of that formation he was in. That's yeah, really the only difference so far. I just switched how I was playing defense because he kept playing that tight formation. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he'll be brought down with the first down after a game. Ah, dang it. I didn't mean to call that play. down they run again here's Montgomery it's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs a couple of very nice carries to start this drive out yeah two first downs and how about that second one what a nice run on that particular play I'm telling you they're gonna start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this back to back good plays have them on the move what up what up fellas Keep pounding here with Montgomery. It 
That's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 51 yards rushing for him now. He's carried the ball just five times. It might be a little easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math there. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. He stiff arms him. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Well, a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. On first and ten, it's Herbert. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Here's a give to Herbert. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bears have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now 10 to 7. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is. Yep, away. yep, yep. Here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he returns oh, this to the stuff. 22. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. Final shot before half for Allen. Going deep for Diggs. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. From way up at the 23. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And he's got some space here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 79 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. What did you see there on the defensive side? What allowed that good size run? Well, they were in a cover two alignment, which means your two safeties are back away from the line of scrimmage. So if you can match up your blocking at the line, at the point of attack, there's usually some room, a big gap between that second level and third. 
and that's what they were able to exploit. We couldn't ask for much more at this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. One play action, Fields. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Second down, Montgomery. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That good for 22 and a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. See, I don't know why he conceded. Like, you can't come in on the game. Come down here and three down linemen and, run, and and pass defense all four downs and expect to stop the run. You know what I mean? It's like people just want to play how they want to play as opposed to adjusting. Now for me on defense, I couldn't play nickel over G against that tight formation he was playing because he just kept hitting me with that deep uh, post route up the middle of the field. Right, that's how he scored his first touchdown. If you watch, if you go back and watch the first drive, his first drive. Deep shots up the middle of the post. Okay, I couldn't stop with that defense. Cool. Score a touchdown, no problem. I get back on defense. I switched up my defense. I think that's what you were alluding to there, so uh, so long. I went to 4-3-4 because I didn't want him to know when I was blitzing to stop the 0-1 trap and when he wanted to throw the deep post. So cover four kind of helped me. I just blitz on it sometimes. And his bailout was either to the running back or the flats, so I just took my lineman and just shadowed his running back so he couldn't throw it to the flats. And then when I got him in third and long, I went to I went back to my over G defense. That's how I got that pick. But his defense, he didn't want to switch. He just wants to keep playing pass defense. So I just kept running. <laughs> I mean, that's all I was doing. I was just run the ball. And I was like, he's gonna get mad. Just just switch up your defense. Like you can't just come in and play cover two blitz and all day and just expect to stop everything. It's like you gotta you know, you just gotta frustrate him. That's kind of what was going on. He was just getting frustrated because I just kept running. And I was gonna keep running, like I put it in the chat. Run past defense, I'm just going to run, 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 run until he switches. If he doesn't switch, I'll just keep running. Because I'm not throwing into that. I'm not going to... And he's a freaking 1800 player playing like that. Like, I'm not going to convert to your style of play. Nah. Just switch up to mine. I had to switch up my defense to his style of play. But he don't want to switch up his defense. Cover two blitz. Cover two blitz. Stop the run. Like, that's not going to work. <laughs> switch it up. And then he was showing blitz like that was going to do anything. It's not going to help anything. Your guys are misaligned all over the place. By the time my guys get up to the second level, it's, it's over for your cornerbacks. So yeah, if I if I like conceded and try to pass against it, I would I probably might have been successful, but I had more a high chance of throwing a pick or something and then giving him a chance to run that stupid freaking thing he was running on offense because he just kept playing tight formation on offense. It, it's stoppable, but like down after down after down, keep doing that that over and over again. That pick I got. Yes, it must have been. It was like, I, I think it's a lucky pick because I, I guessed the right area he was going to throw the ball to and he threw it right to me. But that's not saying I'm going to stop it all the time. And giving me that extra possession of picking him off and then scoring before half, and then I got the ball after half. I was about to score again. It's going to be 17 to 7. He can't keep playing that type of formation. He has to come out of it. So that's the thing about like football that can be fun sometimes. Once you like, you know, that's the chess match, the mini games within it that's fun to play if you can figure it out. But he couldn't he just didn't want to like switch he just kept like playing cover two and i'm not gonna pass against that not not every down that's just stupid if i can run against it i'll just run against it so he can stop the run then i'll go pass but he has to get me to pass and if he can't stop it with that cover two 
No, I'm not going to concede. I'm going to keep running the ball until he gets pissed off. Yo, what up, man? Hey, man, your your music is loud as hell. All right, that's fine. You can you can jack me up, but can you turn your music down a little bit so I can hear you? Just a little bit. Yeah, I can hear you now. All right, man, let's go. All right, man, let's get it. <clears throat> did I just switch? Oh, I did it during the end game. Oh, all right, not much. Come on, Chiefs. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard. All right, man, let's go. He's dropped at the 23. Let's see what you got. Let's see what this uh, what this hype is all about in this Chiefs. <laughs> Bunch? Ah. Yellow, yellow. Chicago, man, Chicago. Representing. See, what do you think? And Mahomes gonna put it up right away. Alright. Come on. 31, man, you can do better than that, man. He threw it right to you. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Throwing now is Mahomes. Okay. Catch is made by Hardman. <coughs> and he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively. Well, Hold on, man. I got to do something. As we step aside here in Stop trying to distract game. me. Stop trying to distract me when, I'm try when I got to concentrate. I got to stop this BS you're doing. All right, I was I was raised in Chicago. I'm an adult now. I'm outside of Chicago. Hey man, it's what it is. That's the truth. Back to back good plays. All right, that's on cool. The move on first down. You are you from? Are you from? Mahomes now to throw. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. That's going to be knocked away. And I want. I am. And now to compensate, at least on this drive, a momentary setback though for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them though. Still so you saw we doing all day. Connect and try and pick up another first down. Now it's Mahomes again. Looking for Kelsey on the deep. That's what we're doing all day, man. He it away and it falls down and Come on, dude. Like get another play. Alright. Alright, man. It is what it is. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have them looking at third and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This is caught inside the 15. <clears throat> and he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 25 yards that time. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection? It is what it is. They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Where the fumble at, man? And he will push his way forward. Come on, the man. Yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but I need my fumbles. It's not about begging. It's like, man, I need to get my fumbles. I need my fumbles. That's all I'm asking for. Play, but then you get stuff there on second down, maybe just a yard out of it. Now your advantage has evaporated. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. All 
I just need my fumbles, man. And that's all. That's all I'm asking for. That's all my brother asking for. But it'll still bring up a fourth down. Brandon, I think he's just grateful to get back to the line of scrimmage and avoid not just losing yardage, but a big hit on that play as well. I'm, just, I'm just asking for what I deserve. And force a quick surrender out of bounds. If you're going to scramble like a madman, just give me what I deserve. All right. In real life. Okay. I, I real life. Wow, where are you from? <laughs> what are you doing with the Chiefs? Why are you playing with the Lions? Why are you playing with the live? Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on. Why why you Why are you over there in the Midwest? Taken from about the 12. <laughs> and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. <clears throat> I might have put you on mute, man, because your music's too loud. Right, I gotta put that guy on mute. His music's too loud. Fields and the Bears now with a first oh, and ten. Another one. Man, defense. Mm. Now it's Fields. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. In this offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Full seed completion of the first down. And you're going to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure. Going to the quarterback in an expected passing situation. And they'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Fields. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yards <clears throat> to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth Man. and short. Too bad. I can't, I can't. The only thing I can do is turn my, uh, my headset down so I don't hear him. He's just singing and making a lot of noise on the other end. They get this out quickly to the left side. Uses this stiff arm. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. Charles, their first drive of the game, and already they're taking chances here, but they get the fourth down All conversion. Right. I'm curious, do you think that that's something they game offense. plan for on the opening drive if it came up, Five or is that something eight. that happened organically? I think that they Watch. game plan for it, Brandon, and when you think about it, let's just say it. The word analytics is a big part of how everyone looks at a game nowadays, but it's not just the analytics. It's a coach willing to be daring, willing to be bold, and it certainly was there. Up tackle made there by Frank Clark then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play that was almost like a bullet train Shit wasn't it blocks. I mean just so quick 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 and what a terrific play holding them to no gain after one seven nothing on EA Sports
second and ten. Running left, Montgomery. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage against traffic. But in this case, I like the free safety coming up and making a big time play. The run to gain is a 33 on third down. From the gun, here's Fields. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 29-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no gain. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. Oh, come on, man. That's cool. Partner, there's no other way you can describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They got the ball now, following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now here's Mahomes. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling, 61 yards. And the Chiefs have taken a two touchdown lead now. Extra point by Barker is on target. And it's now 14 to nothing. <clears throat> now after the 
touchdown. Here's Bunker. That pick was ridiculous. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30 yard line. I gotta trust my guys. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. <laughs> the throw for Claypool is intercepted. Oh my Tony goodness. Sneed. Hold on a second. Fields. Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? So from the 36 now, first and 10. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez Scantling. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 21 to 0. Come on, Fieldsley. The touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. again on second down fields and he slings one that's incomplete a misconnection there he's hit on just 50 percent of his passes thus far that's not where you want to be now you see the evolution of the game you go back to the quarterbacks of old 50 percent would be terrific because they threw the ball down field almost every time they throw now with the short passing game you should be above 60 percent just to be in the average range third and two fields Man open, that's Byron Pringle complete. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. In motion comes the tight end left. Defense, 
Again, Fields. A throw left side taken in by Kamel. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. To throw again on second down. Fields. That's going to be caught downfield by Mooney. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 31-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Meanwhile, Fields' throw taken in by Pringle. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout <laughs> as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Touchdown! Byron Pringle, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Bears get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes hey, the hitman. To pre-season tour. Okay. Players jack up sometimes. We, we talked with that one coach who said his <laughs> emphasis this year was scoring it's in the all last learning, two minutes man. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, a full half to be played. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with a 21-7 lead already in their hip pocket, probably not a time to get too creative or inventive here. We'll see. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Mahomes escaping the pressure right. Come on, He's the animation. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A big play there just before halftime. 51 yards. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. Into the hands of Smith Schuster on the crossing pattern. And he's brought down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there. But... And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Butker now to add the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28 7. Like dime, nickel. It's still the same like formation. I still have the same amount of players. I'm going to have the same amount of players in the field. My issue right now is just pass rush. I can't get through back there. Like uh, dime, dollar. 
So just eight ticks remaining here in Four, the first three. half as they'll kick oh, this one away. The linebackers. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he won't quite make it to the 25. What is this? At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And oh. from this spot in the field, yeah, the game play up, man. Where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Up the middle. It's Montgomery. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. I don't. Oh, you're talking about uh, the last one? It's in the past. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Charles, what is your favorite part of that play? Oh, he's just to get the blitz in there faster. As you can see, even when they get in the back, they're not getting there. It's on the home so fast. That's the reason why I'm using it. I'm not really using them to play pass. Fields now to throw. And he's taken down. A cheap sack. Time this game, multiple defenders in there to drop it. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted, and you can tell on the sideline those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. On fourth down, Fields. He's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Bears first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. First and ten, here's Fields. Flush to his right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like no. Come on, guy. Second down. I'm sure there was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though.
to throw once more on second and ten. Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And they'll get this down to the 42 yard line. Well, he sold the goal with a really well thought he was going deep and called it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, you're going to sell the goal. Just go. And let's see who's faster. And he'll get this all the way down to the Chiefs' eight. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll go again with Herbert. And this time they're able to bottle him up as he'll stop him at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. David Montgomery taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bears are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening <coughs> drive of the second half. Santos with the extra point, and that cuts the lead to 28-14. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they were terrific in the first mm. half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. The other side. Say that again, they've got to be pretty eager. My problem is that it's just so I play this night, it's the, right, the lack of pass, which I got like, I got a blitz and a stupid double cross. Let's get on with this. We got to go out there and get some more points. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Looking downfield for Kelsey. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. No idea. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. Third quarter action from Kansas City. Second down and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. Flushed out right. That's my that's my problem. It's the, it's the, my line, I don't have the best line. Him, somebody in the backfield. <clears throat> Time for this to cross each other in the middle. And he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. Mahomes to throw once more. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. I don't need to. I don't need to. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes going top shelf for Smith Schuster. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. What a real head scratcher there. And the Bears are going to get the football back. And they're going to. Hey, man, what game are you watching? Did you see me play that the last down? <laughs> what game are you watching, dude? First down throw, Fields. 
And this will be caught by Mooney. They'll get it inside the 20. Touchdown, Bears! Join L. Mooney. Yes, sir. That we know, man. That we know. I already told you what the problem is. You're not really listening to me. So that pretty the problem is not really the, the back end defense, the front end defense. Yeah, and man. not making it on fourth down. One play, touchdown. Yeah, and I've got to put this I need to be able to get pressure on the quarterback the what I'm doing, but to me, I don't have the personnel to do it. To Sometimes I'm getting lucky, yeah, way. but you know, it's hard because of the team that I have. You got to take that into consideration. Not the defense, I'm just, I'll explain it here. Just trying to do right now, I'm getting out of, get out of track. This is going to be a return from the end zone. When I get some time, sir, just give me some time. Stop beating me up, dude. Try it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He is. You're right. You're right. I agree with you on that one. You're right. You're right. There is no doubt about that. That's what I'm trying to do one of these numbers because I know what I know. That's what he wants to do, and he needs time to do it. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure. I'm just saying I don't I don't have plays for you and make sure if I have what I need, if I you know, sometimes the defense if I had it. You. Great coverage Man. from the secondary. Oh, that would be a problem right now, but I don't have it. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Now he'll let it go deep right side. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And just the team he has, we think he's special, but it's not even special. It's just he got he got the team and personnel, so he can do what he needs to do. I just I don't have the personnel, and I think sometimes when I'm playing, people forget that. Like I'm I'm compensating on defense and I'm offensive line, trying to compensate. But what I don't have. Where the starters telling the backups, get ready, you're gonna get some playing time. And now guess what? This is the Bears we're talking about, man. They've got to go back out there and play. Here's a first and ten at the 14 yard line. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll get about three just outside the 10 stopped at the 11. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he is going to lose yardage here. you're talking about and that takes them up to another level right now they're playing really loose they got the lead and what a nice stop they just yeah, he's got moody in the end zone touchdown chicago jarnell moody with his second touchdown of the night and the bears are an extra point away from tying <coughs> this game here in the fourth don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. So right back to square one. Tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Like I always say, man, you guys hear me say this all the time. We're not losing, man. It's just it's the storyline of the game we're looking at. Just the storyline. We're all losing. I'm not a channel that does. I'm the best player in the world. That's, I never, I never claim to be that. I just like to play with the storylines within the game. Like, what what's going on within the game that we're trying to adjust for? You know what I mean? I like to try to put the focus on that as opposed to, like, you know, anything else. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. 
Mahomes throw into the hands here of Hardman. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. On first down, Mahomes. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Mahomes now on first down. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Working with a second and three. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. from this spot likely out of the question they've got to get closer here on third down in motion the tight end Kelsey they'll look to pick it up with McKenna oh come on you got see what I mean by the players and gotta make that man but not before getting it inside the 35 <laughs> they got, he gotta make that play up, less than two minutes to go So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Mahomes to throw it. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. Uh, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. Off close. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Mahomes. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Mahomes. He's going to look deep down the field and unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. <sighs> a 
At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. The offense running out, and they are charged. If I had somebody that could clear the middle of the field, man, I'd be good right now. Last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. All eyes on fields. He's got Moody, and he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, they have had no answer to this connection all night long. They just have to think in a two-minute situation, that's got to be a concentration lap. You know they're going to go back oh, to the man. game that he's been having. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Fields. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, hit as he throws there. Incomplete. The way That's he's been there. I'm also surprised when he does not complete a pass like that. But he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. The way he's thrown it, it easy to believe that he's going to get those completions. That means the guys going up for passes, they run even harder because they expect it as well. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. <laughs> there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Ah, come on, man. Defense only did its job. They held up in that situation. And now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made in my estimation. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Win or lose, man. Sometimes he's got to make it happen. Here we go on fourth down, Fields. He's got Claypool and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. to throw fields open man completes it to claypool and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20 the big gainer there on the catch and run 37 yards offense just continues to reign supreme big plays both sides back and forth tough to keep track of it certainly is and i'm over here just marveling at what i'm seeing it's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. His kick is good, and it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds.
So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start. All right, D-Town. Kind of got quiet there, man. I'm back. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this. Oh, game. my so, goodness. What a game. First down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals. And that's all she wrote? Man, let me see if I can go into the. Well, it took I mean, Hitman, um, to officially decide a winner, your criticisms in the beginning of the game, they were fair. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to um, well, like how you hit on you, but we both knew like, that this had to go generally, when I'm playing, I'm trying to understand what my opponent is doing. I'm playing specific defenses. Like the the, the, the the long touchdowns he was having on the sideline was because I was trying to trap him. I was trying to get him in a trap defense where I can get him to force an interception. But my problem was my guys on the front line they were not getting to Mahomes. So he was just so like you guys noticed what I noticed. He was running those two guys in the middle on deep crossing routes, and then the outside guys were running streaks. So if I put any of my cloud guys in any type of cloud formation without any depth on, he just hits the streaks. So, all right, good, you're getting touchdowns. So, yeah, he was getting those one-play bombs and it looked bad initially. Like, this was like, you know, it looked bad initially, don't get me wrong. But it's like, okay, all right, I see what I'm doing wrong. How do I, how do I compensate? Because considering I don't have a pass rush. <laughs> the Bears do not have pass rushes. Look at the guys on the line. They're like no-name guys, except for maybe Gibson. But you can't tell me who those guys are. If you don't play for the Bears, they're not really that good. So I'm trying to play in zone trap defense because I'm trying to get him to throw me a pick if I can get a pass rush. But since he's running these guys across the middle on this like over routes, you see what I mean? And this guy right here, number 31, he's a 68 overall. So his awareness isn't the strongest either. So, I mean, I mean, cover four right here, quarters. All right, you know, he gets that one off. And then, of course, the touchdown. I think he did a running touchdown. And then I really wasn't helping my defense either. Because I threw a pick right here. And then he hits me with another bomb. I wish I could show this play so I could tell you what I'm show you what I'm talking about. I think he has another right. Come on. Let me see one of his touchdowns. Jeez. So, yeah, those bombs on the sideline was because I was playing cover four. And I was trying to trap his guys so that maybe I'll come back. But he, he was able to see the field because... Um, Mahomes was having all day to throw. He was a good one right here. Okay, I think you're saying, why am I playing 3-4 defense against 5 wide? Good observation. In this formation, I can try to get to Mahomes faster. So I'm really blitzing. I'm not playing pass coverage. I'm blitzing. See what I mean? I'm blitzing and trying to catch him to... to see what I mean? I'm blitzing. But I can't get anybody in the back. Well, then if I get in the back, it doesn't matter. Mahomes can just roll out and do what Mahomes does. Throw on the run. This is why I was screaming, like, how come you don't animate? I thought I was going to have a pick, but he didn't animate. So completion. So that's why I was using that defense. And, of course, no, it wasn't working. I think you said go to dime, go to uh, uh, dollar. And the formation I was using is nickel over G. But I already swapped out all my linebackers. I'm, so basically, if I go to the dollar or dime, I'm going to be doing the same thing. It's just a different type of formation, but it's still the same personnel. And considering how much I was struggling in the first half, I still used that same defense, and I still shut them out the second half. All I did was just adjust the depth of my zones. So I, I went into cover two sometimes. I went to cover three based on what I think he was going to be in. And I was able to fight my way back into the game. And I made some pretty good stops. And it's so bad that I can't show these plays. So you can see what, if I can explain what I'm doing to cover these things. It kind of sucks, but... This is Madden for you. Like maybe this on short right here. So this is uh third and two. Okay. This is before he realized I think maybe what I was doing. So So the only thing I can really do is play coverage defense because I can't, you know, I know I'm not gonna be able to sack him. But although I can keep him in the pocket by him not rolling out. 
And these are the deep routes he's running. Number nine and number ten, I believe. Number one. And then see the outside guys? This is the way he was scoring his one play touchdowns on. If I play any type of zone on the outside without any depth, those are you know, he'll score a touchdown. So right now I'm still in cover two, but I have depth on the cover two. Like I think 30, 30 and 30. So my hooks are playing like 30 down the middle. And the flats are playing 30. <laughs> it's like all out fast coverage. Because you know he wants to hit this crossing routes. <laughs> so that's falling falling this guy into this guy right here. So he can't really, he, he, I mean, this guy's open if you see it, but he's, you know, he don't see it right now because he's so concentrated on these two crossing routes. So he throws that one for us, of course. And I'm able to pick it off. Or maybe he did see it. I don't know. Maybe he did see it. But I got, my pass rush got there. But because I held him in the middle with these deep zones in the middle of the field, by the time he ended up having to go to the guy on the end up 11, it's too late when you force him to throw a pick. So, I mean, it's just, I'm compensating, basically. And it's so bad I cannot show any of these good plays, because these are the plays that matter. These plays that matter. All those incomplete passes. Those ones that really freaking matter. And I can't see none of those. So that's the difference. Basically, you just shut him out the whole second half. And he wasn't smart. He kept doing the same thing all games. Adjusting, like we were saying before the first game. You got to adjust. He's got the lead. He's got me 28 to 7. And he comes the second half. He doesn't even try to run the ball. He doesn't try to mix up his offensive call. He just keeps running the same plays over the game. Basically, every time you throw an incomplete pass, it's short in the game because it keeps, it keeps stopping the clock. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Keep throwing the ball. Keep trying to launch those bombs. He didn't run the ball once. He could have. I was all out pass defense, and he didn't run it one time. Well, maybe once or twice. But he was like third and like one. You know what I'm saying? Like third and short or something. But he wasn't even trying to mix up the pass. You got the lead. You don't even run the ball at all. Mix it up. Like make, make it hell for me. He just get passing and passing and passing and then pass himself out of the game. So, it is what it is. I mean, made for good gameplay. But that was on his fault. He should have adjusted his side. But yeah, man, just take that into consideration. Like, the Bears, the Bears are who we thought they were, man. They got a pass rush. <laughs> so... I don't like blitzing because blitz doesn't always get there. As you guys know, if you block enough people, they're not going to get there. I'm just taking the extra guy that's supposed to be covered and put him into a blitz situation that I'm not even going to get to the quarterback anyway. So I'm, I generally just let my four guys do the rushing and hopefully I get a shed. I, I, you know, he tries to roll out the pocket. I can catch him that way and he throws into my coverage and I get a pick. So. And again, I'm also trying to figure out how to defend it too. So I gotta, you know, I don't have every stop in you know the back of my head. I'm just seeing how you play, and then I try to adjust as the game goes on. That's why I said, just wait to the end of the game and see what happens. And you know, he played into my hands because he just kept throwing. If he had just tried to run the ball a couple of times, I think he would have been in better shape because he already got the lead. Yeah, that's why I don't like doing it. Unless you got one of those, I don't, do we even have glitchy blitzes anymore? I don't even know. But yeah, I just rather just don't, I don't even try. I've tried a couple of times and it always burns me, so I don't even try it anymore. Unless I really, really need to. It sucks, man, I know. I was like, why, why even have them blazing it? They don't even work right. It's not necessarily to get to the quarterback, just to force them to get rid of the ball faster. And they'll just pick it up. Crazy. Man, I still haven't changed this guy yet. Aaron. What's this? No, that's bad. That's a bad look all the way. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Ace.
He'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he can only manage to get a couple. All Second right. and eight coming up. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. I mean, you see how long that took? <laughs> that dude went to the outside, to the inside. I mean, it's like, it's, it's man, it's rough, man. I'm telling you. It's rough. You can count it like almost like reading the quarterback. You know he's gonna go outside, inside. It's like where's the rush at? Can the rush? Can y'all do some rush? Before he finally went to that dude, it's like you know he jacked the throw up. But man, it's like come on, rush. Help a brother out here, so. From the 50, here's Fields. And that one All right, that's it with this guy. I know I did it during the game last time, but I think I'm have to officially, I'm officially going over and doing this in the main roster setting because this night is not cutting it on that as number one at all. <clears throat> he does, it's like I can't tell what he's gonna do. It's crazy, and the rush is coming. And it's like, dude, man. Do your assignment already. It's in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. Pain in the ass. Because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield. And almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. On second and ten. Fields. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to his downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. What? Fields on first down. To get that complete to Khalil Herbert. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. <laughs> to throw his fields. Got an open man, it's Pringle. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Come on! <laughs> the hell? Oh! Come on, pools! Don't piss me off. Take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. <laughs> Running with Montgomery from the pistol. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Fields Man, Green Bay is tough. Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the left hand, it's tough to like run on uh um, on Green Bay. Man, they got that run stopper in the middle, so, so I gotta deal with that. Up and through, and it's three nothing. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. So pretty good opening drive that'll make the home fans. Fellas, 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 man, it's all love, man. 
all to the good, man. It's all to the good. Fellas. It's all good, man. Pulls it in at the 13. And all in all, a pretty <coughs> solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Man. Please, do something else, man. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they'll be looking to make amends for that first drive, which came to a rather abrupt ending. It certainly did. And I remember going back to my notes before this oh, game. come on. A lot of times when I scout a guy, have a little right, section stop. how does he handle adversity. What's that, uh, and in this case, that, uh, a big yep. check mark. He, he may have thrown the first interception, he but as much. I don't think he's going to throw very many more. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Throwing now is Rodgers. Oh, come on, the brush. That's going to be caught downfield. I almost had him. Oh. Rodgers just got that off. Big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. All right. 3-0 after play, one play. on EA Sports. Man. I almost had him too. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run here with Dillon. Oh, no. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Dylan again. <laughs> He's just like the Bears in real life. <laughs> Man, this guy's horrible. Really? That's what we're doing? Alright. And the Packers have taken the lead. Rodgers will throw for it. And that is caught for the It is what it is. And around the goal line, especially on two point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend oh, is able to target the tight end. I love how you described it. All right. because you know he's gonna have I gotta watch out for that stretch run again. That's got me twice now. To keep people away from the football. That stretch run that he does out of close. All and right. this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. I think like a lot of mad defense. Let's see. What can I do to get a lot of this stuff? Yeah, I forgot how I used to run this way back in the day. Ready to go for their next drive. Their drive last time it stalled yeah, out. They were like, forced to take the short yeah, field goal. Like that, and the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. Come on! on oh! The same thing again. I got pretty well out there. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. All these Before damn man defense is driving the same. Last thing he said as we were walking off the field. Want to play mistake free football? Well, that just went out the window. They were the pick. And you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little. And he's got his man. Touchdown, Green Bay. It's Alan Lazard. Hmm. A 24 yard touchdown. And the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. <laughs> CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing. Here. All right, come on, man. Let's wake up. Right Trip it. Come on, man. Why am I struggling so I was going to center or something? I mean, they were just playing man defense, so I gotta get money to the right, to the left side of the field. Uh, let's see. I think he got the ball first, so I'm still in the game. I've seen the score before half. 
As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe yeah, they get to it in a little sense. bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete mm. and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Back to throw, Fields. Throwing right, and that's complete. The 20. Touchdown, Chicago. Kari Blossom game, 70 yards. And the Bears are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. Oh! Oh! And he's got it, that got it in there. Lead. It's now 14 to 10. Right. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Tight force. The reason why I play this cover three a lot is because people are using this close formations, and I'm trying to use this defense to stop these over routes. But the problem is if they uh, if they run, I'm generally in trouble. They didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they looked really good. They've jumped in the saddle in a big way now, and now yeah. they're in Fort Gallup. I mean, before, <laughs> kind of camping around. If, if, if he's running out of this, I'm, 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 I struggle sometimes. So. But somehow they put it together with play calling, execution, and now there's a pretty big gap. And they'll look to make that gap even bigger here. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Come on, help out, help out. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm going to play hard flats on this. Hopefully he doesn't hit the post. Let's see. That was good. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to... He runs, I'm Jack. Nope. They'll try and run for it with Jones. Yeah, I kind of figured that much. That's the only bad thing about the defense. It's the way he run off of it. But he's like, that's all he's playing, though. And I got to respect the deep post. All right, come on. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? It's important to do, especially early in the game like they have. This one out quickly to Watkins. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. He'll drop this under. Wow. On the move past the 40. <laughs> and he's going to be taken <laughs> down at about the 33. A good looking drive for the Packers. You don't want to come out of this, man. I got to force him out of this formation because I'm not going to be able to get in the backfield. And he's going to be able to run. Get the two minute so. mark in this first half of action. The good thing about 3 4 is you can blitz and not blitz out of it. And they got to guess on the blitz. And they're so close to the line of scrimmage, by the time you figure out they're blitzing, they can get on top of you. With the uh, nickels, I'm see what I mean? This is oh, this stuff's annoying as hell. Alright, hold on. I hate this. I'm gonna blitz off of it though. I'm gonna put my outside guys in, in flats. So they'll come up first in ten now from the thirty-three. To throw, it's Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Rodgers again now. Uh huh. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. The well, touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Doubles.
You know what? Leave these guys in zero. Come on. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Rogers with a give. It's Dude, you just standing there. Would you attack the line 29? God man. Oh, see, look at him just standing there. I like, attacked the freaking gap, dude. <laughs> okay, this is that uh, over route that he called last time. I'm gonna try to help out on 30 on 13. Yeah, called that last time. I give him 14 yards that time and a fresh shut of downs. He certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good. This is either uh, what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now Jones, and they'll be driven. I was going to say, is he the running uh, stick? Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. I know, yeah, I know that's probably what he wants to run out of this running stick. I'm put this guy in quarters. I mean, uh. I just gotta watch. Shit! Uh, this guy's just going for an every down, isn't he? Take that out. Make it illegal because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break Go ahead, go to help. Man, having that guy was on zero, that helped out a lot. Remember I have my quarters, uh, the purpose play zero? Yeah, I'll give you to score that one. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. No run back here for Jones. I mean, he's played good defense. I mean, good offense. Got to give it to him. <laughs> Excuse me. Got to give it to him, man. Everything's all condensed. I got to get him out of that. Playing like a regular conventional offense. Maybe I'll, I'll have a chance on defense. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need him right Come now. Come on, that's BS, man. Like, oh, I just came, I swear, sometimes. Whatever. That's bull, man. What you just saw there? First round talent. Bull crap, man. Even more success. A pick six for a touchdown. A great play. And it's tough for these guys. You've told me before to adjust in the secondary as a first year guy. So that sophomore season is big for them. They really start to expand the play. And it's intercepted. He's just running stick over and over again. points but I liked their attempt after the interception return for a touchdown I was thinking to myself forget kicking it go for two and they did yeah, one time out you catch the defense on their heels oh. they ready to be out there yeah it's almost like a sudden change right <clears throat> it's a turnover you take it away they stuck it in the end zone keep the momentum going give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt and packet secondary is crazy but you know what let's see if he comes out of this thing let's see Try something. Bump. Line prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Bump me, bump and me. A little under a minute remaining. They may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Picks it. Fields again. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Mm. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. From the 31, Fields. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Finding room at midfield. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. 
As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. First and ten, here's Fields. And he'll get this complete downfield to commit. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Fields now to throw. Come on, you put your hand up. <laughs> you put your freaking hand up. Catch one. Ah. Extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Again, Fields. And he just chucked that one out. Come on, man. Everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. Interesting. Brings up third down. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. They motion the running back out left. Come on, snap. Wow. And they're out of timeouts, remember, so this is going to have to be a delay. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Glitched out on me. What will those five yards be? We'll see as they come up again here, third and goal. Throwing again is Fields. Escaping the pressure right. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bears are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And that trims the lead down to nine. Oh, that defense is tough. That defense is tough. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. I got to pause the game and switch something up. And not wanting to risk At halftime. In the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play time for a break we've hit halftime two quarters down two still remain what up what up what up fellas this is the nfl audio sports welcome back halftime over we are ready for quarter number three alongside charles davis i'm brandon gordon the Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. Bayless Jones now from his end zone. Come on, hold the block, dude. Turn as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. <laughs> the Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. 
This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Chicago. Corey Blassen game. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bears come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Santos with the extra point, and the lead is down to two. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get... I want him to play number one. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted this guy. And Claypool is the, is the slot, right? Yeah. All right. We'll go beans. The 30. Cool beans. Offset again. Upset man, this close formation is jacking me up, honestly. The Packer offense, right? I gotta to switch the outside. I know they're not gonna, and maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one score game, and because of that pressure, yeah, he's gonna throw to the outside. Game, they know this is where you need to. Slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful. Right post. Here. Mm. Out left to Dubs. See, that's that's why I need to adjust the outside. Inside the 35. 36 See? yards. That's the only thing. It's like you know it's coming. It's just uh, it's frustrating. Precise as days gone by. They just saw receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Rodgers now on first down. And that is incomplete. Yeah, post oh, man. A little too good there, and it's second down. Right, let's go. Let's he did go. a fine job there not hitting him before the Trips. ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because okay. of the angles okay. of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Damn it. For the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. You guys see a theme here? Pulse to the sidelines. Give him 15 there, and the right. Packers have a first. I'll tell you what, a lot okay. of those mid-range throws have been available. Like that 20, sometimes that 20. Teams get too concerned about the deep uh, ball. Trying to wait for them to throw ball. it out there again. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. All right. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and 10 here. And inside give to Jones. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm waiting for it. Post, man. I'm waiting for the post. I'm going to put the second yellow guy in, a, in the quarterback spy. He just has so much time. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition. So I got to watch this tight end over here, though. And, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. To throw on second and six. Rodgers. This is caught. Touchdown. Sammy Watkins. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And they are able to add on to their advantage. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it in the NFL. 
but the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined mm. running ability. Go. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. <sighs> At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure on oh, Fields. Oh, that tight end ran that man over to me. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. And the Packers are going to take possession. I had him too. Well, that puts a little bit of a oh, that tight end right. I should have ran on the street. See, you ran right into me. I mean, things were now going uh. But you did mention it's a wrinkle in their comeback bid. It's not the death knell for them by any stretch, but now they've got some extra work to do in order to climb all the way back. Pick it off, man. I got him set to zero, I think. Yep. They were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. That's good for those like Soldier quick outs. In Chicago, third quarter here, second and ten. On play action, it's Roger. Thank you. Pressure Jesus, finally, down. somebody. That winds up pushing him back eleven yards on the sack. Yeah, that'll bring up Oh, that was just a blown block. Oh man, look at that. Lucky me. Right How do I want to Nowhere play this one? Um, he had to keep backing up and backing up. This is so long, I forget. Eventually dropped for a huge so loss. Rogers now after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Rogers now to throw. Man, I'm playing just like the Bears, man. Like <laughs> a pass rush is killing me. Before getting this inside the 30. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. So into Bear territory now. This is first and ten at the 27. Rogers going to give this one to Dillon. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Dylan. And some determined running there Crazy. as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. To the right side, this is Dylan. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A.J. Dillon. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. They'll try and throw for it. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. <laughs> now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. Really? And the Packers pick it up. And down inside the red zone <laughs> at the 19-yard line. Man, leave my guy so long so alone, man. That's chilling. Themselves here on the return. They just give up the touchdown, and now they lose the football. Yeah, partner, things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes. They're going to be looking for some answers and quickly. On first down, Rodgers. Got a man, that's Lazard. And it's a Packers touchdown. 
four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ballgame. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get an intercept and it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on him. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Come on with the come on. Yo, what up, uh, problems? It's good, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Bears offense ready no, man, Sola is a regular on here, man. So. I kind of feel like they reached good, a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now a first down throw, Fields. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it really? incomplete. Really? Come on, Couldn't man. You're not robbing me. Second down. Out routes are always That's a robbery. Routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. To throw again on second down. Fields. Flush two. And he is going to be taken down. I know, Fields. I know, it's terrible. Of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. So now, following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now, on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. To throw his fields. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Hey, come on, guys, get some separations, please. Jeez. Back at their own 17. Another solid game changing play for this defense with the interception. At this point, though, I don't know that it's game changing. I mean, they've got this one in firm control. And you always hear about, you know, those stories about someone left their game plan behind and maybe you benefit from it. I'm not going to say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game. Guys are God, in the right spot in order to make a play. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. Finding room at midfield, and he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. On play action, Rodgers. On the move to his left. A quick throw. Even when you look how long it takes him to get in the backfield. It's crazy, man. Comfortably here, Charles. But that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. And he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up. But he certainly will have some explaining to do. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. I'll tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. The one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, 
The offense down the field longer than you expect. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Here's second and two now from the three. And again, it's Rodgers. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Follow me. Where did all these big guys come from? <laughs> Damn it, Eddie, follow me. I said, follow me. Why did you freaking blow off? That guy's just faster than you. what we learn on plays like that it's just how far it is from end zone to end zone. That's a long way to go, isn't it? He gave a valiant effort trying to get there, but a great job staying with it in pursuit and running him down before he could get there for a touchdown. Second and goal from the one. They try again with Montgomery, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. David Montgomery punching it in from a yard away. And the Bears take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. This is bad defense all around. Bad defense. Now they'll empty out the backfield. Trying to throw for it. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Damn, 48 to 30? That's crazy. Situation. This time, unsuccessfully, I just wondered maybe running the ball might be the way to go. When it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few yeah, yeah. attempts at running. He is. I, I put it, um, Eric, I put him in from like last time. That running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Yeah, I'm getting tired of this freaking... This formation is killing me. These are uh, under center, close formation that he's been playing. That stuff's been killing me. The I'm not going to lie. Offense ready to get their next drive underway. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively... I just hate how, how, how hard it is to get in the backfield. Very little reason to use them at this point. Look at this, man. You see what I'm saying? Like, what's the point? Like, like literally, what's the point of blitzing if that's what's going to happen every single time? You know what I mean? That's why I don't blitz, you know? <laughs> like, what's the point of blitz? You don't play action and be able to turn around and throw it away. Damn, you rolling this stuff. Defensive resistance on that drive and really blitz again. Look at the crap, man. Get out of here. I know it's Aaron, but dang. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it. Man, he's Thank you. Down. Jesus. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on a two point try. That was 45 that time. Now, after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Same story all game. I can't get in the backfield. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several. Cut out of here. Another interception. Picked up by Jair Alexander, and the Packers are going to take possession of the football. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough, but 
Man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it. I think about it awfully hard, but all and it's intercepted. That's annoying, man. Line. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. That's annoying. And the Bears are gonna take over. Six guys just now. He just threw it because he forced it up there. Uh, that's a beautiful but he had time to throw. So he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect him. So he can react to everything in front of him, and he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Flushed out right. And he'll toss this one in. All right, you want to play that? No Let's see. He's sending this guy off the middle and somebody come behind him. About it, see if he follows that tight end. Repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that. Come on. It's not you can beat this guy, man. When you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. Nobody. I think the receivers now when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball. But they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. All right. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Good man oh, defense. Kind of gotta give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game, so every other player in the field has to say to himself, I can't give up either. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see something. All right, go after my running back. I know that's where you want to go. Like that. Fields Follow. rolling again. These guys, man. Somebody. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. He's inside the 30. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a side of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. On first down, Fields. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Another nice game. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Now it's Fields. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to I need a rub. I need a rub. Field, rub him. And make it very quickly in zone. You have to put yourself right, in position cool. to make plays just like that when we saw there. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. throw here for Fields. And that is caught. Touchdown Bears! David Montgomery. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Bears get a bit closer. Now receiver in motion left. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. 
So they tank on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. You think it's going to go up? Nah. That dude's like a 67 or something like that. No, 69, right? 69. Because he had, uh, I think he had like two sacks or something like that, and inception. Or oh, inception got called back. Rogers going to return it from his end zone. I mean, damn, that's a lot of points. So that last kickoff, just a mere formality, obviously, Charles. Are wrapping up a game that they should be very happy about, which they got the win. Yeah, that was a lot of points. Yeah, I they were clearly the better team by the end, and they earned Good game, good game, good game. Good game. Consistent effort throughout. Only fitting that they had the ball when the clock hit zero. Hey, I'll at least stop that offense one time. <laughs> I think I stopped them the first drive, and that's it. It's harder when you can't get in the backfield, man. That that play I called with the play action, that was a perfect play call. You can't freaking get in the backfield, man. They slow down the guys getting back there. I mean, this is a sack, man. I mean, that's a sack. Like... Crazy. He jumped and threw it too. <laughs> I never seen this animation ever. That's crazy. Cause I knew it was freaking call and play action. Send everybody after him, still can get to him. Yeah, that's a lot of freaking points. I don't know, just like, what's the point of blitzing sometimes? See this guy right here? Uh, 64. He's supposed to be blitzing, right? Okay, tell me why he's doing this. Okay, that's fine. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you running sideways? Shouldn't you be beeline to the quarterback right now? Like right here, just try to roll right to him. He's running sideways. You're not in coverage. <sighs> Goodness. You should be doing what 91 is doing. Like, you get off the block, go right to the quarterback. What are you doing? What's 44 now? One second. Okay, 44 is in coverage. So, okay, that's fine. Yeah, but what's 64 doing, though? I had to click down for him just to go after him. See what I clicked down on 44? But what is 64 doing, though? Mm. Oh, headache, man. This game could be a headache sometimes. <sighs> That's kind of what I was saying. Like, I'm compensating for lack of either awareness or like, um, just the talent on, on the team in general. All right. Oh, jump in and throw it on the run. Hey, trying to sack that dude. I think he has that quick release, too. It doesn't help. All right, come on. Oh, not again. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> it's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. Ooh. It's a rivalry that what I realize playing now is Claypool can't be my number one. Bears are underway 
Chicago. Like that dude does not, he don't run, he don't have the best route running. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. I keep forgetting to change it because I just want to jump into the games. He seems to be working better this way. All right. Close man, he had a post of deep downfield. The huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten again from the 25 yard line. Throwing is Rodgers. He's got his man on the crossing round. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Again? It'll go as an That's impressive 31-yard gain. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. On second down, it's Jones. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like mm. things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Rodgers will try again on second down. Out of bounds. This one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Bunch. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Rodgers to throw once more. And this is caught by Watkins. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up real short of the first to the back to 21. Rodgers to throw for it on four. Got a man. It's Tunyon. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Rodgers now to throw. This one swung out here to Jones. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Rodgers. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. It hasn't been a real good start to this game from a defensive perspective. But now after the incompletion on second down... 
things may be changing. If they can come up with one more play, they might be able to get out of it with just a field goal attempt. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Robert Tunyon, a five-yard touchdown. And the Packers put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Extra point up and good by Crosby. <laughs> that's the only thing I, that's the only uh, recourse I got now. I got a ma I got a match uh, point for point on offense now. It's like my my chance for mistakes is still limited. It's hard to stop anybody. A fairly short Just because how uh, and he'll go down. how bad my pass rush is now. I think I played like four games, three sacks total in them four games. Like I'm not getting sacks with anymore. After they finish doing their reads, you can see them like just like throw the ball away because there's nobody open sometimes in the coverage, which kind of sucks. So I can't even get the sack even when I have like played the perfect coverage. Fields of the Bears now with a first and ten at their own 25-yard line. A play fake now Fields to throw. Looking for a running back and he's got him. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. That's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just stuck out there and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pick up on first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. <laughs> no fails. And wait for your no teammates fails. to arrive to help get him on the ground. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. On first down, it's Fields. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball. Man, I thought I was going to get a rub. Trying to run to all them people. Should I get a rub? That's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's the first carry for Khalil Herbert. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 14 yards in a shot. Man, we'll get nothing. We'll get no calls. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Where are the calls? Um. I don't want to get too pass happy. Get myself in trouble. I don't have the offense they got. I can't go over here just throwing all the place. Back to the ground this time, Montgomery. Woo, talk about patience, man. I had to hold my hold my hold my uh, turbo on that on that run. Yeah, patient on that one. Well, I'm holding, holding, holding. Get the turbo. there to get him down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. On second down, Montgomery. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. 
David Montgomery getting in from a yard out. And the Bears are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Oh, oh, oh. oh I, almost, I almost jacked that up. Santos able to tag on the extra point. And we are Man. tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Amari Rogers to return it from his end zone. Come on, boy. And he's up past Don't the scare me like that, man. Yard line. I wish Maddie allowed you to play more of, you know, more good, more defenses of out of the formations. Like, just allow the linebackers to slap the ball down. You don't got to freaking knock it down. Just slap it down or something. The Packer offense They're trying to blitz to over here. Next drive underway. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the Can't other. Can't freaking get no pass rush, no matter how hard you try. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. From the shotgun, again to Jones. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. We've hit the two-minute mark in the first half. All knotted up at seven. Hmm. This defense is good, but it's all predicated on, on how much I can get in the backfield. Now, here's first and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. Let's go! Let's go! He tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. And that was one I kind of saw coming, Charge. That free safety just hanging back there over the middle, waiting. And he saw that ball go in the air, and he jumped on it. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that. That was just your standard cover three, which means the free safety in the middle of the field, the two corners, and they divide the field in thirds. But when you have a free safety with range, like a good center fielder, he can go from side to side and make plays on the football as he did there. And he'll be marked down right at the 20 yard line. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. Oh, come on, man. A little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him on balance. Come on, yeah, I need those unbelievable shits. Can't always go one way. I'll be able to go both ways. Here's Fields. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up third and two. Partner took a while for him to lock on to a receiver, and he finally found his man coming left to right across the formation. But by the time he got the ball to him, not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. And again, back to Komet. Get off me. He'll be taken down, but he that was good defense. That was good defense. That was a 50-50. He could have gone anywhere. That was good defense. And good in a lot of ways, that catch deep. is expected. Red zone presence. And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They'll run with Montgomery. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Not a whole lot there on first and goal. And that's what you're looking for defensively. He'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. To Montgomery on second. Oh, come on, man. A bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. 
Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock. I don't know why I don't have stick. I need freaking. I don't have stick. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight. Yeah, I need stick right now. The defense bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, I don't have stick. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And this time he is in. David Montgomery in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bears have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. All right. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Oh man, that tournament was needed. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half. Is this one is? Why did they have my punter kicking the ball? It's crazy. On the return from his end zone, Rogers. Man, talk about being lucky. Pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with Rodgers behind center, you wonder if they'll take one shot at this. And so they're to run now. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right. Got that in there. All right, what else we got? And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. Hey, man, if you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button one time. Bang, bang. The third quarter. One, one person away from 900, man. Who's the 900 caller? In the second half, the Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. On the return is Jones from the end zone. And tackled at the 21 yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three, because remember, Charles Jones. Damn, coming all two, angles. Both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. <laughs> Get a prize. <laughs> Man, I just love oh, this funny. stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now, hotly contested in the third quarter. The hell? See, I'll take, I'll take that. Throwing on second and fourteen. Fields got an open man. Whoa! Let's go, Pringle. <laughs> I know he's pissed. <laughs> Let's go, Pringle. That's crazy. Woo! I'm gonna lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him. I, I can't believe he caught that either. But the truth of the matter is. That ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around. It happens it. Once, it, once every blue moon. Don't blame me, man. Now a first down throw, Fields. That's a good team. I need to get on the center. Still play this all day. I need to get on the center. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. Fields throw there, holding by Claypool. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That one covers 24. I can't believe it. First down. I, I couldn't believe it. Read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come Man open, defense. Puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. 
Money. Now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still. Why not? They take runs like that. Why not? Each every time, won't you? The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. Why not? They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. And just a couple yeah. yards there down to the 17. Yeah, one stopping guy. That guy's annoying as hell. <laughs> Busting through the double teams. From the 17, Fields. Oh, come on, you gotta get away from him. I'm trying to throw him away. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. The thing about this coverage right here. I don't know if that slot guy on the right side is blitzing or not. If he's blitzing, I can have a comeback to this guy, to the slot guy, if he's blitzing. I think I don't know if he's blitzing though. Throwing on third down, field. Damn, everybody's covered. Oh, he got Phil's legs. Oh, oh, Phil's got out of pocket. He's got a pocket. A timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. David Montgomery taking it in from a yard out. And the Bears... What? Rage? The rage! Oh, the rage. Oh, the rage. I can't believe uh, Pringle caught that pass. That was the play of the game. <laughs> if, he had, if he had intercepted that pass, oh, I would have been in deep trouble. My, I'm struggling on defense, man. <clears throat> I'm on I'll, that game just looked bad as because I'm I'm holding the ball for a long time on offense and <laughs> taking like ten play drives and everything. So he doesn't get on offense because I am not getting any pass rush, man. Gibson or freaking Robinson. Uh, it's gotten stronger, but pass rush more. Excuse me. Power move. Block C. Jesus, 67.
All right, fellas, man, it's gonna be uh my last hurrah for the day. Oh, thanks, Tim. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. Ty, if, if he lets me, I think I got a couple of runs in, uh, Ty. But uh, I'm just letting it just happen, like, naturally. If you rush three guys and I get an opportunity to take off, I take off. But I don't think they've, uh, they've increased his ball carry. So he can't really be running all crazy. He's going to fumble the ball. They gotta increase the ball carry for me to run it in Madden. But I'm trying to do like uh read options basically. Kinda of what I was trying to play. I don't really do read options, but I'm trying to mix it in because if I'm passing, passing all the time, like that goal line run just now, he's not gonna expect, you know. He's not expect uh a triple option like I did that last touchdown. That catches people off guard. Cause I've just been I've been keep gashing them with the runs, just regular running plays. And that triple option came out of nowhere. Came out of left field. Yeah, it does. It does. Especially when you catch people like, you know, looking some looking at something else and you you know the NFL on the You did them like opportune time. The That's the right the word. Like when they don't expect it. In Cincinnati. Coming up, we've got what should I, I keep it in my back pocket. I'm bringing out what I need to. And the Cincinnati Bengals. But I got it in there. I got, it, I got some pistol sets. Ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And we are underway from Cincinnati. And no run back here. Alrighty. So they'll bring it out to what the we got today. thing about this freaking team is chase is a problem one-on-one -on -one. and I know people like wanting to play actions a lot from this guy I'm gonna blitz right here <laughs> I'm gonna blitz Here's Joe Mixon as they there start on the ground and not much to speak of call it a one-yard gain Good call the 26 like I sent all them linebackers to get the play action. That was on that play from the get go. Then everyone crashed in the ball carrier before he even made the line. All right, so we got next slots triple. Can I have an idea of what he wants to do here? Here we go. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Oh, I got to set my uh, base thing because here we know we cover three. This is not good. There's Burrow setting up to throw it. I knew that's what he was going. Launch this thing way down field. Get out of here. It's knocked away. See, you kind of have like an idea. And that's football 101, oh, isn't it? Tip this. your cap to the rookie. He knocked that one away, but he better not relax. They're going to test him all game long. Here we go. Here we go. trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. All right, buddy. It's Burrow. Come on, dude, getting flat, dude. Taken in by T. Higgins, and he is going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching Come quarterbacks on. and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices. Jump! Really uh, That's going, so going to be his, his team all game. All right. Cincinnati score. 
Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've All right. seen this. I got to put more focus on Chase then. I kind of said it in the beginning of the game right before it started. Like, Chase is going to be a problem because he's just going to keep catching him one on one. All right. He's not really running on anything else besides streaks. Let's go out and prove it right so I gotta, now. I gotta adjust for that. Bayless Jones now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only right, gets on. this out to the 16 yard line. Oh, you saw that? That monster stuff? <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, wasn't it? That was that was crazy. Yeah, that yeah, that monster, yeah. Fields and the Bears now with I was like, dude, seriously, so you gonna do all game? One play action. Fields. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. It's a nine. Yeah, I was his entire offense too. Well, if you got a better team, at least you have an idea of how to stop it. So that's a good thing. Field first before you come back and make a nice safe throw, and in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They'll get three as the drive continues. They go to read options. Down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you were thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. Right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Play action. It's Fields. This one swung out to Montgomery. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from oh, days, oh, being in college, oh, oh, they were in all oh, off-season about our season open oh, opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a long story. night. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Logan Wilson, the one who got in there. Yeah, 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 the yeah. But the good thing about that one is that I had seen it before. So that kind of helps. Like, I, I had seen, like, um, somebody talk about it. So when he, when he came inside, I was like, oh, I know what this is. But I didn't have the, uh, the, the defensive ends that could play correctly. So that was that. That was that story. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. Yeah, I wish I was on the center right now. They snap it to Fields. Come. And it's incomplete. Oh my God, man. Come on, EA. I know the running back was open, but man. I just didn't want him jumping the running back and then I, and I throw another pick. That's why I waited. <sighs> Man. So I'm always down all the time. I don't want to do that again. Mixon with a first down carry. Yeah, good work there. He got chased on a streak every play. I had a couple two on his side. I'm like, oh, thanks so not again. 
guy was playing like real conservative too on offense. Streaks and run. I'm blitzing again. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Here's Burrow. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. Well, he shot in, CD, like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no I got two guys over there. Man. Damn, <sighs> boy, I swear. Down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They'll give it to Mixon at a minuscule game. Out of here, man. Hard from the six to the five. If you're going to keep these guys out of the end zone, you've got to be able to commit to stopping the run. And that's a nice job there getting the safeties involved in run support. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. <laughs> Jamar Chase, mm. two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bengals go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to 0. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchdown. Yeah, they're starting to play like a real Bears defense, man, for real. This stuff is like, oh, frustrating. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Seven yards there and a first down. Here's Fields. The bagel pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. Well, you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively, and Charles, they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football. I love the observation because with that type of a lead, they feel like they can take a few more chances and beat the Golly, lead. man. I... And it's been panned. Come on, guys. Jeez. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. <sighs> They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Third and long. It's Fields. And that is incomplete. They move the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to get them out to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. Can't hold on to the ball, man. But here we go on fourth down, Fields. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Bengals are going to get it back in terrific field position. Here we go, here we go. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And they go play action now. Burrow. 
And incomplete on the deep ball. But these are the situations that really tested defense. Those sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start okay, the position. Just all streaks. Their goal now, keep it oh, to a range. long kick if indeed they end up trying one. 11 MP, 11 MP. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Looking for Chase on the out route. He's got him. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Burrow on play action. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point by McPherson. Up and good. It's now 20. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. All these damn drop passes, man. Yeah. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Fields. Open man completes it to Claypool. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first and ten, here's Fields. A throw left side taken in by Komet. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Got the defense on their heels. Two first downs in a row and now a pickup of eight. On second down, a run with Herbert. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down, keep the sticks moving. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages and they're finding the open holes in the defense. On second and very short, Fields. Man open, that's Byron Pringle complete. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Open man is Komet, the tight end. The gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be left with second and a couple. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second and a couple. Fields. Touchdown, Bears! Cole Komet. As the first half is winding down. And the Bears are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. Santos able to tack on the extra point, And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, <clears throat> so a net gain of one there. Come on, ready? 
The Bengals drive about to get going. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. They go play action with Burrow. And that is taken in by Hurst. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Really? What's this? Uh, 59 plus 7. <laughs> 65. Uh, 55, 66, 66 yard field goal. That's crazy. All right, let's see. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this will be called officially a 66-yard attempt. They give it to him? And that one's not going to get there. Not I want to say. It's an ambitious effort. Oh, it's well 66 short. yards. It's first half, two more quarters. Oh. Plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back, Charles and I settled into the booth. We're How am I going to get in the backfield? That's the question. The Bears going to see <clears throat> the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields. Locates Claypool on the crossing route. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards the pick up there. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Back to Montgomery on second down. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Again, they'll go ground. With Come on, some sheds, man. Back to the oh my goodness, the left side is wide it's open. Loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Fields now to throw. Looks for the out route and it's complete to commit. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Brandon, they didn't get everything they wanted out of that play. But the tight end did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job of him holding on after absorbing that big hit. And again back to commit. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 13-yard line. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Montgomery back to the ground. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. David Montgomery, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are back within a score. I don't know why I always have slow starts. I need to find a way to have a fast start. I'll be down 14-0, 21-0. I need to find a way to start fast. So I'm not always having to come back all the time. 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. I already know it's going to be tough anyway. It's just defense is not. I need to turn over really fast. A couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Ah, <sighs> see all this like wing slide, everything. It's, it's the line, man. He's going to like block everybody. I'm going to blitz again anyway. I don't even care. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where Stop. they try to get momentum back. I put him in flat. That's why I was able to get there. Three here on this drive. That's all you know, he just blocks everybody and does that. Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. Good so deep. What you want to do now is have your own drive. I kind of put the outside safety on the sure deep third. Stays in your camp. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, go, go. swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And they'll get 14 on that one. Good for a bangle first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play. <laughs> <as> <laughs> On first and ten, Joe Burrow. He's going to air one out. He's got a man complete. <laughs> I think I called it right. One on one on the outside, so he's going to get. Cincinnati, and even 50 yards. They will throw on first down with Burrow to the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play. That's kind of half ridiculous, though. You know what? Let's see if he does that again. Okay. T. Higgins was the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. He's freaking throwing the ball, jump balls. Here we go, here we go. Hey, we gotta go score. Go. It's a streak in, uh, let's see. Are they coming to jet sweep here as Burrow just taps that forward? I can live with that. And a lot now. of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Uh, those double, uh, double slants. I'm one, right? A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Nixon. Stop. No gain on the play that time. Oh, go for it. Don't hit me with double slants. Gonna leave him with a fourth and goal. When you're uh, to space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. McPherson's kick is good. And they will extend their lead in the fourth quarter. So that's going to be an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. <coughs> at the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Fields on first down. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Chicago. 
Kari Blossom game. 61 yards. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now. They're right back in this game. Did it feel to you as it did to me that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. drive about to get going and with that last touchdown I mean we're set up for a good finish here some things to consider Charles obviously it's a very close game you're in the fourth quarter defensively they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket so the chess match really ramps up doesn't it because in these situations what do you do do you run the ball and kill the clock here or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts and early opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Yeah, they'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. Go, go. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They're passing here. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Picked off by Matthew Adams. And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. A size you see that. Shift in you see that. You see that. That's, That's right. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people got to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Running with Montgomery from the pistol. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 46 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Probably at 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Now Montgomery running right. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. They still got two timeouts. Got to start using them, don't they? You absolutely have to. You save them for this situation, but you have to use them. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. A lot of 
tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's across for the touchdown. And it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And it I said, man, I got to find a way to start fast, man. You guys see it all the time. It's like, I'm always down big. I got to find a way to, like, start the game. Like, not down 14-0 all the time. I have to fight back at the end of the game. It's like my second half is usually better than my first half because I, but by that time, I figured out what they like to do. And then I started taking it away slowly. So what I told you was, like, he liked to run streets. So what I was doing was my outside corner, I was putting him in flats in case he throws the out route, and then I just take my safety and put him off deep. So that's what I was adjusting for on that last drive that he threw that pick in. And then I put those purples, I put them in, in zeros. So when you try to throw that quick flats, that's all what happened, got picked off. That's why I was screaming, because it worked, you know what I mean? I was like, hell yeah! Because <laughs> I was like, man, when you're working on something, you know? And it works, it's just like, hell yeah. Take those. Thank you, sir. Man! That's what I'm again talking about. I'm talking about. Woo! That was a hell of a freaking fight. Ah, good game, though. Good game. Oh, man. That was a struggle. So those are the type of games that you, like, freaking make videos about and, uh, and post as little short videos. I've had two of them today. So it's like, man, I got to find a way to start the games fast. So I was killing it. He had three points all second half. And he was like, that first half, he was like, it was unstoppable. I was like, this dude is unstoppable. But, uh, let's see if we can go to some of these touchdowns that he was throwing. This... So, I kind of had an idea he was going to run him on streaks all game. Now, the guy that's playing Chase on this play is number nine. But number nine is sort of out of position right now because he's not going to be able to get back. That's why, you know, he's able to hit that. That's essentially what I was doing because I know, like, sometimes I like to run this guy on a, like, in a whip or something. So, if he doesn't see him, he's throw a pick, like, right to him, right in the flats. But he's out of position, number nine. I need him to be with Eddie Jackson here so he can get on top. But, so that's the first touchdown. So I was like, all right, cool. He got that one off. So he basically was doing that literally all game. I had to uh, see what the next one was. Let's see, bro, 33 yards. Okay, right here, I'm either in quarters or maybe that cover three again. Let's see. Okay, I'm in quarters. Yeah, this is when I was pissed off. Like, how does two guys get beat? Just t let him catch it and tackle him. Like, don't do that, man. You took the other guy out of freaking position. Like, everybody's covered probably pretty good this time. But even in the middle of the running back out the backfield? Yeah, just, I haven't had that covered. Oh, that was painful. Sack, sack. Touchdown, Higgins. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna guess it's probably the same thing. Let me see. Okay, I'm in cover three. So it's the same, that's same coverage again. Oh, I'm blitzing this time. Oh, okay, this is the blitz. Okay, this is just, this is user error. <laughs> I'm right there, I just didn't play correctly. I, I don't know why I'm jumping down. I'm jumping down to this guy coming across. Why am I jumping to 84 when I, <laughs> there's nobody helping me deep? <laughs> it's stupid. So that's what happened there. All right. So now he's up, what, 14 zip? Yeah, I'm struggling. So I found a way to score. I score again. And then he gets the ball back. And let's see what he was running again. Wrong play. Did he score? No, I forced him to a field goal. Yeah, this was his chance to come back. This, like, safe place he was calling. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Let's do a field goal. Touchdown. Where's the pick at? I'm not gonna let me see the pit. There he goes. Yeah, I got these guys. Because I said he likes to run the flats. That's it, yeah. So I know he likes to run the flats. Yep, see? So this is uh 
This is a screen that he threw a pick on. Man, that was not smart though. Why'd you do that? Oh, the rush got to him. That was not, that was just a bad play call. That was a bad play call. Man, that was huge! Woo! Freaking linebacker picked him off! I can't believe my eyes! That was huge! Man! I want to fight back, man. That was a good one. Alright, y'all. How many hours did I give y'all today? See, probably like four hours and counting. Yeah, going close to four hours. Yeah, but I gotta, I gotta run the area. But, uh, till next time, fellas, as usual. Hey, somebody hit the subscribe, man. Make that 900. Alright, man, till next time. Talk to you guys later. Alright, one.